Hi, so I'm Miguel, I'm Sir Cabalot, Living Earth Structures, and um, I'm here in Sebring, Florida. It's about an hour and a half south of Orlando um, at this beautiful retreat center. And um, so we're doing a, uh, a project here in the woods, um, creating an earthen structure. Um, it's on this little village where they have these, these tents here. And uh, we thought it would be nice to, to demonstrate a, um, an alternative, um, all natural, affordable, uh, beautiful, fire resilient uh, structure here in Florida. Um, so this is our, our material right now that we're working with, right? So this is, this is cob, right? So this is cob. So this is a mixture of just uh, earth and sand and straw, right? This is the, the earth we're using here. The, the clay in Florida for cob building is not so great. So uh, we got this from, from Georgia, uh, one state up. Um, and it's very, very nice. So, so this, is, this is great. So this is, uh, could be the first of many um, palatable cobbins that we built here. And uh, so yeah, very happy to have this opportunity to uh, demonstrate this kind of building. So. Yeah, the cobbin has begun. Woo! You got Jen and River doing the cob stomp. A little foot massage. This is when they get to receive the massage and soon they're about to massage the earth as they put the cob on the walls. So we got our first panel done there. So we got that and then we just got that shelf worked in. So you can see there how it's framed in, right? Just uh, put in the glass blocks and some two by fours, four by fours, got a glass block. And I put some paint over it and put some sand in the paint to make it gritty, right? And uh, so, so we're just gonna go ahead and do a little bit of cobbing today. I might go ahead and start making a, another shelf, glass block, stained glass feature there. So we got all the straw in the pallets now, uh, in the first course anyhow. So the kids all helped with that. So, okay. Alright, getting the cob on the pallets. So Gabby's here, she's rounding out all the windows, the glass blocks, the stained glass. And we got the shelves going up. Kelly's just about to bust out this pallet here. We got a beautiful batch of cob just made up. And Alan's making some cob sculptures over there. about ready to start plastering the outside of it. So we're going to do a lime plaster on the outside and that'll waterproof it. It'll be um, you know, kind of the same color as the pizza oven over there. I don't know if you saw that. And um, in the inside, we're going to do a clay paint. And just as it happens to be, I'm just about to start making the clay paint. So if anyone wants to you know, learn something new on how to do a clay paint, that you could actually do over drywall, over over a painted room, like any conventional wall, you can do a clay paint to have that earth element, you know, inside your home. All right, so I'll go ahead and start. Start. Uh, uh, you pretty much just start anywhere. It doesn't really matter if you start at the top or the bottom. I just get it wet first, and then get my clay and just paint it right on. Does anybody want to try it? Yeah, I do. Yeah? Okay. Okay, I think I only have a couple brushes. So you can just go ahead and you know sponge sponge it down some and you can take, I'll get another brush. And um and how high do you want it, Miguel? Okay, totally. Go right. ahead. Tap it off, guys. Get your hands in here. Yes, Duke, Duke, get in here. Come on, get your hands in here. Lincoln, we need to turn it up. 
Get it on there. Go ahead, Olive. Guys, we don't need any more balls. We're going to make this point. Last one. Okay. Wait, this point of the eight. Does this end up just flat? Okay, let's go flat. Crack it up. We're cobbing, we're cobbing. We're cobbing, we're cobbing, we're cobbing, we're cobbing. I hope you like cobbing too. Yes, I hope you like cobbing. I hope you like cobbing. I want to cob it with you. So we got the kids here um, putting the, uh, the cob on the, the pallets. So this is going to be their their schoolhouse, right? Um, you know, it shouldn't every school be built by the children who are going to be using it, you know? And so uh, so you can see, or I'll just do a little demo of how it's done. So first, first you, this is the clay slip. This is like the clay glue that we use for the cob to stick to the walls, right? So the clay will recognize the, the, the clay um, and you'll want to stick to it. So we just put the, the clay slip on the pallets and on the straw and then take a nice blob of cob and just put it on. You know, put it, it goes on about, about an inch thick or so. And, uh, and then after you get it on there good, then you can dip your hands in the water and smooth it out. Right? And then after you've done a whole wall, then you can take a trowel like this and just smooth it out. Okay. And so we're smoothing this out, so it's gonna look like about like that. And then uh, we're gonna be doing a clay paint over it all, right? And we'll put a nice colored oxide, so it might be like a green or whatever color we want it to be. So I'm hoping we can cob up uh, this whole building uh, this week, hopefully with uh, you know this crew of cobbers, we will be able to do that. And uh, so by the end of the week, we should have the inside done and then we'll start cobbing the outside. So. All right. Miley's jumping. I'm not judging you. Yeah. You're grounding. You're grounding. Alright, I lost. Did I do it wrong? My clay slipped off. Oh, slap it on there. Oh. Do it like uh, connecting to my section. Hey, you're right. Come here. See? Like that. Okay. Oh. Okay. Day two of cobbing here. So we're doing the second course. So we got the, the shelf brackets in. So we're just going to go ahead and cob those in. And so Link is here, you, um, and I'm Elliot is doing a great job, Duke. So the goal is to get this top part all sculpted today, this morning, this afternoon. We'll get that part done, and then we'll tackle the big wall. And you put it on. Okay, perfect. Nice. And Paris is with us today. Yay! And Cobzilla, of course. Uh, Scarlet is deep in the mud here. And the Cobbin is going great here. The Mud Stug Club and Emma are just cranking out this wall. I think we should have this lower part done in no time. And then we actually we're about to make another batch of cob. Get some more clay soaking. So productivity is definitely in effect here. Okay, Wendy is getting the cob on the palace. We started the outside today. Very exciting. And I'm just getting the uh, cob up over the door, about to do up there. And Joe's in here doing the final the, the cleanup. So we finished plastering the whole inside. So now we're just letting this all dry out. We got the fan going here, so that'll help with that. So it should take about a, I don't know, a good solid week or so for this to dry. And then we can start to do our, do our clay paint and start insulating the roof. 
ceiling. And so that's great. We did our nice arches over all the windows and around the stained glass. So feeling great about everything. Yeah. Today is the day that we are doing the clay paint over our cottage. Okay? Yeah, I know. It's just uh, the moment we've been waiting for here. So I've been working quite a bit to try to come up with just the right color uh, for our batch, right? And so uh, you know, you'll see inside there's a bunch of different samples and everything. So I'll just tell you here what I'm what I'm doing here to, to make the clay paint. So of course, just using a, a, a paint, a latex paint that you buy at Home Depot is way easier. You can just buy the paint, whatever color you want, and paint it on, and easy. You know? I'm trying to keep this natural and try to make it so that the energetically it just feels better. It's like higher vibration, right? And it just feels more natural inside. And there's no toxic chemicals like that. that thing that. So, um, so we're using clay. We're doing a clay paint. And you can actually do this like a clay paint over drywall. You know, if you want like clay on your walls of your white walled house, you can do a clay paint, right? You see all these, so these are all the different samples that we did, right? And so I experimented adding lime uh, to the mix and different colored oxides and, and things like that. So finally, what we're going for is pretty much this last color right, right around here. This is kind of how it's going to be, right? So it's going to be kind of like a, a nice tan color, kind of nice earthy, uh, maybe, you know, kind of close to that, okay? So, but these are all just different oxides and mixed with lime and everything. So yeah, so basically, we can just go ahead and uh, and start painting. You know, clay paints are really nice to work with. All right, so we can just go ahead and, and start painting it kind of up and down, and uh, just pretty much just go up to here. It doesn't really matter if you start at the top or the bottom. You know, you can just you know they're they're very forgiving. So you can take this, and this washes off your hands and clothes really easily too. So if you get any on your hands or your clothes, no, that's not a problem at all. Okay. And and Georgia, you can have more on the brush. So have a lot on, have a lot of it on the brush at a time, right? So you have, you know, be be, be nice and generous uh, with the mix uh, on the brush. Okay, and, and Scarlett, so when you brush, you want to go up and down, up and down. So pretty much just go up and down motions, all right? Yeah. And yeah, and, and have lots on the brush, you know, when, when you go. Nice. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to, you know, have, with this clay here, be able to, you know, paint all these walls. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how far we get with this mix. Uh, all right, we got Alfredo here, we got Joe supporting Scott, getting the center first beams up. Very exciting. So we've got a, a nice ridge beam going across the top. Just a good true 2 by 6 So we're putting our round cypress raptor poles in. Another one. Okay, here's Joe and Jake. The Jays yeah. doing the, the roof, putting the nice, beautiful pine over the cypress wood. It's going in great. The hell he's putting in the angled pallets. These ones are insulated with uh, animal feed bags. Finally put those things to use. And Link just put in some foam into this pallet here. So we're doing foam and cardboard. And Clay, our new worker, he's uh, breaking up some old fence boards over there. We'll be using those to fill in the pallets up there tomorrow. So we should be having this all filled in by the end of the day tomorrow, ready to start cobbing in the next couple days. Woohoo! So what do you think of this here, Christopher? 
Yeah, okay, come check it out, huh? Yeah. Interesting. That's how you start. That's how that one was before you put, put it up? Uh-huh. Okay. Yep, so we just start off with the pallets, and we're insulating this one with foam, actually, just uh, old foam and cardboard. And then we're going to be putting the, the cob on uh, this weekend. We're going to have a work party on Saturday, okay. and we'll have people come and, and help. Oh, you're going to have a party? Yeah, yeah, a minga, a work party. Yeah, okay. like a like an Amish barn raising kind of thing, you know? Okay. Yeah. How, is the, how is the school? How many kids you got in there? Uh, we have 30, 30 kids are going to be here in the fall. And uh, hopefully more if we build more classrooms. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you're going the right way. Yeah. All right. Yeah, different experience for everyone. Yeah. Okay, doing the cob stomp. Getting a really nice batch of cob made up. Look at those little feet in the mud. So we are pretty much ready to start putting our cob on the fourth classroom. So you see the inside, it's all framed out. So we have it framed, got those round windows in there, that's all well and good. And so now we can start cobbing it. And this one here, that's all dry, so that's ready to put the, the plaster on. So we'll probably do that next week. And that's all well and good. All right, how's it feel, girls? Doesn't it feel great? Yeah. Have you been cobberted? <laughs> okay, getting the cob on. Oh yeah. Okay, so Sarah's getting it on there just right. So you see how she gets it on there about, I don't know, a good solid, like half inch thick, maybe a little more, and smooths it out. Looking awesome. And Steph is getting the cob around this window here. And I've been working on getting the cob up there around that round window. And Jesse's over here busting this wall out. So Okay, you got it? Okay, get it in your hand and let's make a shape. You want to come? Look, let's make a shape. Rose getting some of the cob up in the beams and the little gaps where there's, you can see a little bit of air. We're just putting a little bit of cob as kind of a filler. So we got, it just looks really nice and tight that way. And he just sanded down some of the mildew that was on the cypress poles. So then I'll really nice and clean now and we just about got this wall here plastered we got that one plaster is drying out just about to start plastering that wall okay so Jake is getting the electrical already so we drilled some holes through the floor and so we're running the, the pipe under the deck so we got the boxes mounted and We'll be getting these ready for the electricians then to run the wires in the conduit. So that is all well and good. And we're actually thinking about doing a cob floor on this one. So we'd be putting some half inch plywood over the decking and then do like an inch and a half of cob on the floor. All right, so we are now doing the earthen clay plaster on the inside of this one. We're calling this the Cobb Cathedral, right? Because it has a nice cathedral-shaped skylight up there. And so uh, I just thought I would share with you how I'm making this clay plaster. So we're wanting it to be very light, um, almost even gray, like a kind of a super, super light tan gray. And um, so we're using... We're using an American clay, right? So I got some American clay, and this is what's going to be keeping it light, right? So I'm first I'm getting some of the earth. Is that we're using this, some of that nice Georgia clay. And so I soak that in water, and then I use my 
my drill, right, and just kind of blend blend it up and kind of turn it into a, like a milkshake kind of thing. And then I pour that mixture through a screen. I'm just using like this you know, window screen, like a 16th inch window screen. Pour that through here, so it comes out super super fine, right? And so we're using this for some of the color. So this uh, mixed with the American clay, and so and we're adding sand too. So we're doing uh, you know, one part of the clay and then three parts of this white sand, right? And then I'm adding a flour paste. This is just flour and water kind of boiled together. So it's flour paste and that helps to make it sticky and helps the clay uh, stick to the sand so it doesn't flake off. And then we're using straw, uh, putting the straw through our leaf shredder and cutting it up into really small, small little pieces. So we added that into the plaster. And I also added a little bit of the color, some of the, um, with American clay, they had these color packs, this Oyster Bay color pack, right? So just, I'm just adding two of those. So, but still the color is super light. So, oh, and then I added just a tiny bit of frankincense, just a, you know, essential oil, frankincense, and just a tiny bit of lavender, right? Just so we have those essential oils in there. I might add some sand to wood too. And then, uh, so this feels really, really nice, right? And so then we'll show you inside. 